Hey, what's up? Mwende Mashari Hapak. Once again, karibu to the Queen's Podcast. Filming right here at Tamarind Tree Hotel. Eh, nakombe lomo na tukua ukule outside, outside like this. Eh, pale mbele hivi kuna kuanga na brunch every Sunday. And of course, you can pass by with your family. You enjoy every Sunday. Of course, conferences kama kawaida here at Tamarind Hotel. Yeah, they show up. Sawa. Hi, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the so glad to see you. Ah, I'm so happy. You to have see no you. idea. No, seriously. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. Yeah. So kwa Maria Mwisho tumekuona jamani. Yeah. Of course I've seen you on social media. Like yeah. Maria Mwisho ile tulikuwa ulikuwa kwenye kitanda. Tulikuwa tumehuzunika kidogo. Mm. Uh, we are back uh-huh. by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here. Hallelujah. Can someone say amen? Amen. Mm. Shabbat. Yes. Karibu jamani. Nashukuru. Let's toast. Mm. Let's toast. Let's have a great conversation, sio? Kabisa. Mambo vipi? Niko fiti. Mashi nakupelekaje? So far so good. Mm. Ah, at least we are kazi. Uh-huh. Yeah, we are back. Uh, mm. kama kabisa, God has been with us. Uh. So yeah, tumekuwa tukipiga tu kazi kidogo pale. Uh-huh. Eh, as we baby steps, as we make baby steps uh. again. So yeah. bar, pia nimekuona ukidance mwenyewe. Uh-huh. I, kuna kuna ile group yenu wenyewe men in black. Men in black. Men in black. Ah, kwanza kabisa kuna kitu tunataka kuwaletea uh. before Christmas. Uh. Ah, ngoje ni mwale. Wacha. Mm. Ngoja, umeniambia pale kuna ndugu yako? Eh, ku, yule ndugu yangu. Yes, yule you, kuna huu mwenye anakunga na dread. Yes. Alafu kisha na wale wengi. Ni wawili ama ni moja? Ni moja. Ni moja because you guys are three. We are normally three. Mm. Yes. Kuna mwingine mrefu anaitwa Boaz Osea. Uh-huh. Kuna huyo ndugu yangu mwingine anaitwa Nelix. Uh-huh. He's a DJ by the way. Siku moja utampata hapa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then of course me. So together we are men in black. Men in black. Yes. Ndio unaka pale kwenye tiki. Let me ask uh-huh. you, why uh-huh. you doing this all along? Tangu mkiwa utotoni ama uh-huh. nimekuja uh, ukubwani sasa ndio mmegundua. Oh, uh-huh. we can move, you know. Uh-huh. 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 Tunaweza fanya hizi vitu. I know. <laughs> Kut- Kusumbua mtandao. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, um this is way way back I think in uh, 2011. So tukaingia pale Nairobi in 2011 tumekuja shule nini nini mm. I joined multimedia university but hiyo uh, time kulikuwa na program fulani on uh, kwa TV ilikuwa inaitwa Sakata ah, I don't know if you remember it Sakata it was a dance competition yes it eh. was a dance competition eh, eh. so hiyo time tulikuwa the three of us uh-huh. and some two other friends of ours no way you participated in Sakata yes hiyo time tulikuwa tunajita Vuma split dancers kwa mpigo mbaya sana eh, eh. so tukakuwa pale vijana watatu very humble people eh hey, ndio tumeingia Nairobi mm. sisi ni washamba kutoka Migori pale ndio hapo lakini ni Migori unenguzi eh, eh. tulikuwa tunanengua mbaya sana mbaya eh, sana eh, eh. yeah so tukapita auditions pale tukaingia quarters pale tuka, tulifika mpaka semis no way tukatolewa semis are you serious yes mimi najua basi mnajichocha tu pale kwenye mitandao no 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 we actually danced we danced kabisa ile we wanted to make a living out of it Oh. Yes. It time you did you know you were a comedian? Uliko unajua hiyo? Hiyo time mm. but I was still, I was funny mm. but I didn't know I could make money out of it. Ah. Eh, I didn't know I could make a profession out of it. Eh, eh, eh. So na dance huku pia comedy nafanya hivi shule kidogo eh. na chekesha watu shule uh. but my heart was really in dancing your okay. time. Okay. Yeah so tuka dance dance kidogo then it reached a point whereby tukaona eh ikitu other interests zika zika creep in sasa mm. yeah my love for comedy sasa ikapanda eh. my other friend yeah kaanza kuwa dj ah. mwingine akakuwa designer uh. so even that's and that's how group yetu ikasambaratika oh my group ikasambaratika yes. tiktok ni umewaleta pamoja so tiktok tukarudi eh. uh, because tuko makaribu karibu we stay just eh. almost around the same place mm. so tukasema bro si tunaza jibamba sa zingine hapa tiktok kidogo eh. ni nini And that's how we started Men in Black again. Okay. okay. Yes. You guys look very nice. So mna mna tesa. Tesa sale. Mna kunyo, mna tukunyo. You guys unajua akukudeja kwa ukweli ukweli ametoka kwa familia ya kukudeja. Ah, ile sawa juu. Unajua ile siku niliambia mimi nilishtuka like Yeah. Oh my god. Ni ukweli. Ni ukweli. Unaona ni mtoto wangapi kwa kukudeja? I'm number 1600. And 97 grandchild. Eh mwende kwetu sisi. Ah. Ah. Ni kuu wa 1697. No remember yes. paka mko na vitabu. We have we have our own IDs. Our Nione, digital cards. Ni wangu mebeba leo. Ni unachile. Well like next time tell me nitakuja nayo. Nitakutumia. Mko na ID za kukudench. Yes, za kuingia kwa boma <laughs> like hii December hii. Hii Christmas sisi ingia kwa boma bila ID. 
Juu pale kwa gate utafika unapata anko yako mkubwa. Ah, no 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 no. Let's not to break it down. Yeah. So 24th. Let's talk about 24th. 24th. 24th imefika. Mhm. Aba 23rd wao mnatamka mnatamka lini? By 25th. Yeah. Sema 25th tuko home. 25th tuko home. Yes. So siku ya mjomba anasema kwa gate sangapi? Yeah, sasa in the morning. Eh eh. From up to 24th, 25th eh, eh, tukiendelea hivyo eh, mpaka first huko. Eh, Anyone who walks into the compound eh, lazima kuwa na ID. Ndio tujue unapelekwa which side of the compound. <laughs> Utaoneshwa utaka kwa tent gani. Unaona? <laughs> Because tuko kuna my imposters. Mm? <laughs> Goal. Yeah. Kwa kuna watu wao sherudisho kwa hiyo familia yetu. Yes. Mm? Kuna mtu atakuja tu ati oh <laughs> mimi pia na kuonga uh, grandchild wako. Eh they'll confirm with the book because kama kuna ID lazima kukuwe na kitabu they'll go through the book tukutafute <laughs> mamako mama babako umesema ni mtoto wangapi wa kukuleja like my my shosh mm, mm. is number 42 the 42nd wife yes for the second Alibana, wife nikumbushe the wife how many wives alikuwa na 264 264 wives yes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so my shosh is number 42 mm, mm. Eh, so atakuje kwa kitabu afungue alikuwa karibu na mbele alikuwa karibu na mbele eh, at least alikuwa eh, top alikuwa... 40 bado <laughs> eh. top 40 pale baba eh. alikuwa anamwendea vizuri eh, eh. basi so pale top 40 atakuja 42 angalie eh, eh. nice francisca you are from the house of francisca <laughs> Said ya mama baba mimi ni said ya mama eh. wanakuja he milka wajui wateremke chini pale and then your number is there kwa hivyo so kuna masoja kwenye ile family yenu yes. kuna masoja wanasema kwa kwenye gate our family has all professions wow. all type of professions really yes we have doctors we have lawyers architects wezi <laughs> comedians so wao wao wamekaribiana na comedians so tuko na kila mtu pale oh my god mm. Tuko na kila mtu pale. Ina una filaje mm-hmm. kwa part of such a big family. Being part of a big family is mm. uh, I think it's a blessing mm. in disguise because it helps you know how to deal with social skills for yeah. example. Yeah, so that you know how to deal with almost everyone. Mm. Yeah, hata ukitoka kwa familia yenu, mm. I'll know how to deal with Mwende, I'll nah. know how to deal with Steve pale, I'll know how to deal with you know because I've been exposed to all these kind of personalities uh, from a very small age. What's in kuambi kitu moja? People uh, actually think it's a joke, mm. but we had our own church. <laughs> ah, okay, we, let's make it short. Yeah. Mulikuwa na your okay, you have your own church, our own school. Family, our your own school. Yes. Uh-huh. We had that. Mm. In the whole center. I'm is, not, uh, uh-huh. uh, uh. Hizi mabiashara sijui butchery eh, ama sijui we, salon un, utapata anko yangu ako na salon uko na pale uh, <laughs> so we had everything yeah. ni kama konza Hotel. kama konza iko uh, i'm not lying oh. utapata kuna kakibanda pale imeandikwa kukudenja police station ah hiyo ndio atikwa nayo <laughs> but the disciplinary committee we had eh. ni kama ilikuwa tu ni kama police station eh, eh. my grandfather was a disciplinarian sana mm. sana mm. because i remember even from a very young age mm. i could see i could see uh, if one of the wives angefanya makosa yeah. angeripotiwa to the first wife because the first wife was like the chief custodian okay okay uh, so our wote mm. wangereport to the first wife uh. then is issue zenu zinapelekwa na the first wife to nani guka guka yes mm. sio ati unaweza toka out of the blues because ara mimi as a grandchild uh, kumuona ilikuwa ni shida that was my next uh-huh. question like yeah. ilikuwa mlitarax na yeye alikuwa hai aunge kuja tu ati oh leo nataka kuona guka kama nani you Una have to plan yes huh? na ubebe ka sukari ubebe ka unga <laughs> ukuje uombe the first wife huh? eh hey, the first wife ndiye angesema sasa aende pale muombe guka ati kuna grandchild wako fulani wanataka kukuona on mm. such a certain day mm. so you then you get to hey and mm. we sit and what we cheese we eat uh, and all that okay yes. remember again una yo sana ya ya guka wako akukudenja one of the best memories i have about him is uh, in as much as, as alikuwa na hao watu wote hey. but alikuwa anapenda ku manage biashara yake personally okay, okay. because i remember hapo uh, tu in our town center hiyo mm. ungempata amekaa kinyasa eh, kinya, mtu wa kinyasa yule yeah, eh. kinyasa pale with a nice scarf na bakora pale mm. eh akiuza tu vitu tu pale uh, cereals mm. eh na kwa tu hapo 
Uh, managing peke yake. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, really really important. Cuz I remember we upige suti sana. Ah. Upige suti mda. Actually today tuto nimekuona yeah. in um, what uh, are they in called? Sweatpants. Uh, sweatpants. Yeah, and mm. that is because nilikuwa nimeenda shoot mahali. Okay. Yeah, okay. but otherwise mm. eh suti lianza pale. Mm. Buka yangu alikuwa ni mtu wa maluku. Luku piga ah, luku. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Sanduku yangu ukifungua hivi eh. ungepata ma shorts, shorts mingi zimepigwa pasi mingi. Ni kwa ya sanduku. Eh. Da sanduku white pale but he used to be very smart one time niliuliza nga shosho yangu the 42nd wife yes nikamuliza eh shosho wewe mtu alikuwa na wao mabibi wote Ukaona number 1 2 3 4 5 number 42 bado ukaingia to box. Yes. What was your reason? Uh, Aliniambia jibu ngapi? Tatu. Aliniambia one your grandfather was very handsome. I Look. Akaniambia mm. two uh, the guy knew how to dance properly. Waja. Akiingia pale alikuwa na wakunywa mbaya. Moves. Mbaya. Moves. Moves. Mbaya. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And three he told me that guy was very rich and he knew how to dress. Mm. Those are the reasons he told me. Unafikiri wewe kama uko hapo? <laughs> Nishachelewa. Nishachelewa. You at my age yeah, you already have 30 wives. Eh. Mm. Do, do, mwenyewe, do you feel like uh, utaku, are you polygamous? I'm not polygamous. Eh. But I wouldn't mind being polygamous. Mm. Yes. Mm. Reason being um polygamy is just an open way of making things very open to all the partners involved mm. which is very important especially in the Nairobi that we have. Mm. Mm. Kama uko Nairobi, Nairobi, Nairobi. Eh? eh? Mm. It is very important to be very open. Uh. But you see so many men are polygamous but wameficha. Mabibi hawajui. Mm. Yeah, that is the truth of the matter. We mwenyewe ushajikuta katika hiyo scenario kwamba uko na demo yako uh-huh. lakini unajua pia kuna demo nyingine huko. Well, well. 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 Ukisikia mwanaume ameingia ameingiza kizungu mahali. Jo kuna shida mahali. Hakuna shida kama ilikuwa iko. It is what it is. Well, I'm a man, I'm a one woman man. Oh. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. I even come from such a background. Yes. Mm. But if push comes to shove, at least I'm not feeling like a person who's going to get busy. Oh, you're going to feel like you're going to get busy. Eh, you know, that's the thing with the guys. Oh, we see more kada wa kada. Wa kada. Ah. No, I don't think so. Eh. I'm a one woman man, but it could be di. Is it because I wouldn't mind? Is it now because because you see, I will have a grandfather ako. When your family and you say say like your mom and dad, well, the one man, one woman. Yes. Yes, in our house ilikuwa ni madhe tu na fadhe yeah. but kuna the mnyameoa mabibi wengi sana in our lineage mm. ni anko yangu i think akona 12 wives mm. that is the farthest ever went mm. okay yeah, akona mabibi 10 na wao yeye ni wangapi kwa ni bibi gani yeye ni ako top 5 yeye yako top 5 pale kama kwa lazima ucheze kama top 1 yes so yeye akona 12 wives kwa pigo yes. tena sana mm-hmm. nikuulize mm-hmm. Uh, was, was this this year last year mm-hmm. wakati ambapo ulikuwa unaumwa ah. ah that was last year from last, last year. year actually ilikuwa i remember very well it was on 20 it was on 29th mm. of december 29th yes. of December yeah, just, just when about to book yes nini li happen hiyo siku maana kesi tunakumbuka tumeamka yeah. siku moja tunaona picha za kukudenja zinazunguka yeah. eh au askii vizuri tusaidiane ndugu yetu apate matibabu no. what, what was going on on that day well mwende that day um i was just home mm. i think nilikuwa nimetoka nimetoka show mm. nilikuwa nimetoka show kama kawaida to some end ya party actually tulikuwa na Terence mm. Eh hey, tulikuwa tumetoka mm. kwa harusi fulani I was seeing me alongside Terence. Okay. okay. Eh, ngamwaya mm. kwa wenye wangu ngamwaya. Hiyo time imeshika ngamwaya eh, ganini ganini. Yes. Eh hiyo time ya ngamwaya. Eh. So tukapiga shughuli vizuri harusi pale around Westlands. Mm. So I come back home nika rest day one. I was just okay. Okay. Yeah then uh, around 28th I think usiku okay. nikaanza ku feel funny. Okay initially I was born I was born with sickle yes, cell. Yes. Yeah. So I started feeling funny uh, symptoms are crisis because when uh, sickle cell you go on a crisis it means painful joints kila mahali mm. you feel easy 
hata uwezi tembea you oh, it is terrible it yeah, yeah it affects all the joints because now damu azipiti huku zime clot huku ah, okay. yeah so nikaanza ku feel funny but uh, at my age kuna venye ni feel mm. i'm like uh, there's some home remedies i can do oh, and i feel fine okay so nika kunywa maji moto of course nika meza pain killer ah i lived the mm, night mm. Eh. so kufika kesho in the morning i couldn't sleep that night you 28 mm. so kufika around uh, around 5 in the morning ile pain killer ina wear out ah. but i'm still feeling a lot of pain nika meza pain killer ngine mm. ningoje at least ifike asubuhi i go to the hospital so ikafika around sambili I go to the hospital that is Nairobi women mm. yeah in Rongai I used to stay in Rongai your time oh, okay yeah so nika it a cab then I go to Nairobi women kufika pale um kama kawaida eh maji nini nini just some mm. eh nika feel a bit fine okay yes actually nika toka hospital nika rudi nyumbani yes because nika sikia pain imeisha and uh, I'm feeling much better hey the same same day Mm. kufika jioni eh nasikia hii pain inarudi eh i'm feeling so terrible so nikatoka nikarudi wapi kosi yeah. i was alone in the house my my other friend who mwenye kuna dread mm. eh alikuwa ameenda Mombasa is a dj oh, so alikuwa ameenda kucheza yeah. in Mombasa so i text him come show eh bro siski fiti eh uh, nafika au si lakini mm. wewe uke come utanipata huko ama utapata kama nimerudi oh. home eh So I text him like that mimi kenda na Ruby women tena. So kwenda kukaa huko hivyo nikakaa hospitali they admitted me. Mm. Yeah. So kuni admit pale nikaingia yeah wakaongeza maji nini nini. But this time mm. things were a bit different. Yes. Yeah, things were a bit different. It was not just the normal sickle cell. Mm. Because at this point it's at night na feel pain zimeisha. Okay. Sina pain. Mm. But I'm craving for a lot of air, oxygen. Eh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe properly. So, eh, wakani kan oxygen. Nikakaosi, nikakaosi. Uh then the next day, mm. my I think my brother akakam sasa. Yeye ndiye akakam usi juu nilisham text mali niko asiponipata home mm. akuje women's. Mm. I'm a guy who doesn't love pity party. Mm. I'm a sympathy hata kidogo. Mm. That's why all these years you've heard of a kuku danger but you've never heard that ya kuku danger na kuanga na sickle cell. Mm. I hate sympathy. Mm. I hate it when way back at from school so I hated it. So it is the only person I could tell. Mm. And he come text, he come show. So I go to the hospital. I know sasa ka kam the following day I'm admitted niko huko. So kukam my condition na feel in a deteriorate. Mm. At my age again, I know so much about my body mm. to an extent if I feel there is something that needs to be done, mm. I will tell the doctor. Okay. Yes. Okay. So at this point, naambia daktari exactly how I'm feeling yeah. and exactly what I need. Eh, namwambia doc, mazemi na itaja oxygen, siski kama na breath, poor. poor. But pain, siski pain. Okay. So nikaka hapo nikaka hapo eh bado wananipa at this point sasa nika blackout Easy story zote by the way sasa nilikuja na kuja kuambiwa na bro at this point sasa i don't know what happened The next moment you, you, you will pass out sasa zile ukiwa una eco oxygen sasa eh nikisha eco oxygen huko eh. hivyo that's when i passed out mm. The next time nafungwa macho it's almost 10 days since i was in hospital Na sasa siko Nairobi women niko Nairobi West hospital Okay what happened hapo katikati Hapo katikati I blacked out mm. My friend called my father mm. Aka call uh, sister yangu mm. who we are very close yeah alikuwa Kisumu mm. So me the next moment nafungwa macho hivi pap Mwende I'm seeing my dad hapo kando yangu I'm seeing my sister Na watu wengine whom I could remember their faces Wow So at this point I'm like eh Father nimgrika muda Father ni <laughs> wewe <laughs> then they're like eh hey. huh. i'm like mimi nataka kwenda home that's the first thing i think i say me want to go home eh. because at this point i don't know what's happening yes eh, all my memories are actually that is to perform na terence your time all the events of december i couldn't remember not even one thing 
Oh, wow. At that particular time? Yes. I couldn't even remember that I'm the one who made a post on Facebook that, guys, I'm sick, kindly pray for me. I couldn't even remember that. Everything ilikuwa ime... I think, sorry to say, but I think when someone is actually dying, mm. their memories inanza ku futika mm. as it goes. Mm. So, so many memories I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember so many people. Eh, saizo na sikia tizuike na chachili wa mikuja kuniona. I could see them, but me, I don't know who they are. Yeah. Kina Terence Chebi were there. I can't remember who they are. Me, I don't know what and I'm like, how many kina nani? And I can't talk. So the only thing that I did, I asked for a pen and a paper. Mm. And I wrote down, <laughs> I want to go home. And I gave it to my dad. Because I can't talk. So many things are, you get. Niko, uh, I see you your time. Okay. Yes. Okay. So nika kao, see, nika kao, see, the doctors were kakuja. Mm. According to them, they were like, uh, my lungs, what I was being told now, my lungs had failed and I only had 5% of lungs. My kidneys had already failed. So generally, mm. I was left just to go in peace. Yes. And mm. uh, mm. Eh, when I came, I said to her last prayers for me because that was it. it that was it. Because wow. I was everything. It means I was violent, which I couldn't oh. remember. Yeah. I was violent oh. now at that point. At, uh, at what, uh, what point were you being moved from uh, Nairobi Women's to Nairobi West? From Nairobi Women, mm. I think what happened, what I remember is we were doing genetics. All I could remember, I could tell, uh, I'm sure, I bro, I'm here, I'm a dog, I'm too lazy, but I'm a mistake, I'm a mistake. Because you keep inquiring, there is mm. this car oxygen. Mm. Ni hiyo, I was this about one. to ask you. Ni, ni, ni. Yes, this is the oxygen mask. So it was really so uncomfortable because it is too tight and I can't eat. Na pewa chakula na pipes eh. your time. So I'm like, bro, I'm being mad, man. This is what you keep to. So I think that is the point in your kani. Funga mkono. Oh. Ni kwa show, bro. Me if I die here, shauria ko. But ni peleke ni Nairobi. West. That is what I say. Nairobi West. Come with me. Mm. Eh, so I hear ambulance ilikuja wakanichukua. Oh. Wakanipeleka Nairobi West. So at this point, my insurance was already depleted. Mm. Eh, unlike when you were Kenya, we never invest in our uh. health. Trust to me, for those who understand how healthcare system works in Kenya, mm. you might have so many insurances. Mm. In the way insurance works, mm. uh, one thing Kenyans need to understand, because normally I see on so, uh, social media, all over from time to time, at you you get but we do save for our healthcare. Mm. We, we know because if your healthcare fails, nothing goes on. Mm. So at this point, my 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 insurance mm. was already depleted. What Wapi? Mm. Nairobi Hospital. Mm. Nairobi the women. women's. Mm. Before I even could go to mm. Nairobi West. So by the time I got to Nairobi West, I think that is now when Kenyans knew I was sick because Churchill uh, did a fundraiser for me on mm. the show because you and the old day to look on there was a major mm. show. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it is at that point, Sasa what when be West Pure may insist, they can't take me to the ICU before I make a particular deposit. Payment, yeah. Yeah, so they needed 300,000. At this point, Pesas in it depleted. As a family, uh, me and my father, because our family ni Babango Tundi to Konae and mm. my other siblings. I'm the second born. Mm. So that means when you walk on your dog. Yes. Finance wise, it's your vile. Mm. Yeah. So at this point, we needed money. Kabisa. That's when Churchill also Pia Kambia Watu. People started sending money to my brother's number. Mm. Yeah. Nikakwa admitted okay. at the IC. Okay. Yeah. But Wah. most of the memories went. Went to Kabisa. Kuna zile ambazo zilienda Kabisa. There are things you don't remember. 
There are like things... some, like from now, let's say, like uh-huh. before that, uh, uh, your matokio, yeah. are there things you cannot remember completely? Yes. There are some things that I couldn't remember completely, especially my shows uh, on mm. Churchill's show. I couldn't remember some of the jokes I've cracked. So, nilikuwa after I met a house, I was on YouTube. Oh. Na sacha kukudenja. I'm like, ah, I'm going to say a joke like this. <laughs> <laughs> it starts ringing from Kumba. <laughs> uh, I can recall pole pole. Yeah. But otherwise, there are things that totally went. Wow. Yes. Walikuja waka diagnose, waka sima ilikuwa ni nini? So what the doctor said at this point, when I was in uh, the ICU, eh, walikuwa na sawa, it is because of the sickle cell. Eh. My oxygen, my lungs were damaged. Mm. So I only had 5%. That means I needed to stay in, on oxygen for a very long time. Mm. Yeah. And two, my kidneys had failed. Okay. So they needed my kidney to be back again. Okay. Yes. Okay. So those those were the things that happened. Mm. And it is at this particular point that I also owe it to my friends and families sana sana. Mm. Yeah, because up with all, there is a doctor who came and even told them, at the guys, at this point, mnaribu pesa. Imagine a doctor telling that Are to you your serious? father. Yes. He said at this point, mnaribu pesa. If I were you guys, to any kijana kwa ICU, you guys start making arrangements for his funeral because it is akuna haja, he won't make it. Those were his words. Yeah. To date I meet that doctor and nana kwanga embarrassed mbaya sana. Kuniona nana kwanga embarrassed sana. So that is what he told them. But my sister, my father, my father had already given up by the way. Oh. Yeah, so my sister and a few friends from the industry, also Sakeda Chebi, mm. Sandra, mm. who played a very important role, mm. waka insist. Waka say, makama ni kukufa, wacha kufi kwa yu ICU. But he stays on that machine. Yeah, till he can't move no more. Mm. So I stayed at the ICU. Nikaka kwa oxygen, nikaka, nikaka. For seven days, to be precise. Mm. That's when I came back. Wow. So Kurudi, I didn't know anything. <laughs> Mini yeah. wanashanga watu wataka nini hapa. <laughs> Kila mtu wamezungua kitanda yangu. Uh, Ulianza kuongea bada uh, how long? I, you times, bada uh, I was just uh, writing. But so ni kaka hapo tena in the, for the next 10 days or so. Ndiyo wakanza kutoa some of his walingizia to pipes. To, oh. uh, that's when I could start speaking. Uh, ni kanza kuongea kidogo. Uh, yeah, so what can it do? They took me to the HDU now. Oh, yeah, the recuperating part. Yeah, so in short, actually, I think it is just by the grace of God, but I've been in the hospital from December last year to June, July this year. What, what, what do you mean? Mm. Yeah, so since I was sick mm. that December, January, February, I got discharged in March. Ulikuwa discharged in March? Yes, March up evil. Ulikuwa discharged in March? Yes. You were in the hospital the whole time? Yes, yes. I stayed in the hospital for almost three months. Nilikuwa natamani Christmas in the Because it's usually very important. Nilikuwa angu sana sana. Mm, mm. Mm. Then nikaka nje for two weeks. Then I went back to the hospital. Nikaka tena hospitali mpaka mm. July this year. Pole sana. So ndiyo, yeah. Here we are. Wow. Yeah. Okay, mimi personally kweli sikujua pole sana. Sikujua kama ulikaa muda wote huu. Yeah. Eh. No, I stayed in hospital for a very long time. He, he experienced yote. How did it make you feel? Kwa sababu yeah. si rahisi. Uh, si rahisi ku when your body is not functioning normally, you know. Yeah. Hata inakuwa ndio kuna ku affect the psychology. Yes. Kwa kweli ilikuwa namna gani? Psychologically it affects you because now um Kenyans soon show you, but at the same time, they will show you. Mm. Yeah, yeah um, because for the better part of the year, I think every time Kila Mutwa can meet, uh. they're like, Ulipona! Eh. Ulipona! Eh. And that's the same, same thing. And some people still think I can't even perform today. Eh. Yeah, but I'm back to work. Yeah, I mean, I'm you back to work. Yeah. Because eh, mm. I think I saw that video last month. Yeah. Wow. But it also made me appreciate a lot of things. Eh. Never eh. postpone anything. Never postpone anything. If today I want to wear my suit, niende kwa shamba. 
mpiga i will wear that white suit <laughs> na niende kwa shamba oh kuna za white of course ah uh, of course ni mtoto mm. jukuu wa kukudenda why not mm. 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 don't postpone anything if you want to go on a date with someone mm. please tell them go out with them mm. yeah don't postpone anything because you can go anytime you mm. don't know nobody mm. knows about you tomorrow nobody knows yeah mm. so that is one thing it actually taught me these days i don't postpone ina kama ni sayo ni sayo ni sayo sayo nikitamani chip, uh, chips na chicken ndio let's have it now eh uh, sio ati hey kifika christmas fulani nitakula ka chicken uh-uh. now now mm. so don't postpone yeah if you have time to spend with your family mm. also spend with them okay yes all right fantastic huyu sandra huwa ni nini mnaendelea huwa mnaendeleza nini sababu wa kenya wanaabidi nyinyi mna date eh ila mimi naamini nyinyi ni marafiki tu sandra ni bibi yangu mkubwa siku moja nitakuja naye show mwende mm ndio tuambie wa kenya wajue sasa bibi yako mkubwa na wana mdogo ni ni rafiki yako tu ama ni nani wako Ah sana tumetoka mbali. Mm. Sana tumetoka mbali. Yeah. But one day mm. tutajibu hiyo swali vizuri. Watu wajue kweli sasa. But wajue tumetoka mbali sana. Mm. Yeah. Ile kubeba na bebana unaonanga hizo watu wanatengeneza memes. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Wengi sana. But that is how Kenyans show love sometimes. Mm. Ama hivyo ndio mnapendana na nyinyi mnaendelea kuwachocha hivyo. Mm. Ah si tuna tunapendana pale. Mm. Eh watu wapendane. Msi postpone hizo vitu. <laughs> Unamemwa eh. gani sana? <laughs> eh? Wacha nitakuja naye kwa show siku moja. Eh. Niende yes. jamani. <laughs> Maana yake watu eh. wanasema jamani, watu eh. wembamba, mbona mnakazana? Eh. Mensifu Mwanaume ni effort. Mwanaume ni effort. Ah, mwanaume ni effort. <laughs> Jikaze. Mm, yeah. Kwa sababu kuna kipindi kile ambapo uh-huh. uliposte mama na mtoto. Uh-huh. Afisa ndo akaja akasema, "Oh, sijui nini mimi ndo nimesimama na wewe ite biote." Eh, punguza vile una post bibi yako. Video ndio kama mpost ilikuwa nani? Now, when I, <laughs> Now, when I did that post, uh, uh, people were doing it too bad. Trust you me when I said because nearly caption your picture eh. I think bloggers ndio wali put out of proportion okay. but nearly post your picture and I was like it feels good to finally be back home with the family eh. Sasa huyo actually is our second last born Oh makini eh. eh, Alafu hako katoto kadogo eh. ni kama mtoto wetu wa mwenye ananifuata sasa Oh kwa nini mtoto mdogo paka wewe eh Huyo mtoto mdogo ni ndugu yako And this sister ni ni mtoto wa oh, sister wa yangu Okay eh. your niece mwenye or nephew my Wane, nephew. Ni nephew. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what work I blow out of proportion ni ni pale. <laughs> but well it's Kenya bloggers wanafanyanga kazi yao. Ah, kuna bloggers huyo huyo sana analifanya iko story. Kwa sababu she's going to say now mimi na nimesoma na wewe ni yote. Eh, punguza venye una post. Ni venye una post. Eh, wewe mnachezea akili za watu? Mhm. Wasanii mnapiga watu. Ah ah. Ni ndio wanadanganya wa Kenya. Yeah. zingine. Ah yeah. sana. Nini amb- nini mm. ishaandikwa kuhusu wewe na bloggers unachukia mm. sana? Ah uh, kwa hiyo time when I was sick, mm. uh, I think nilikuwa na go through I didn't go through I, I wasn't having my phone because I knew bloggers were going to run crazy with all sorts of headlines. Mm. So after nimepona nimekuja kuangalia what was in the headlines and everything. Mm. Na pata pale kuna nimeandika hata kukule ni kama alikufa kitambo ni vile tu bado watu familia wana wana feature. Oh god. Yeah, he's already gone guys. The, so many things. Wow. Na imagine size una so many I'm like sasa watu jamii. Mm. Yeah, mm. but Mm. At the end of the day they have to put food on their table. Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling now? How is your body? Ah, says I'm good. Uh. I'm back on my feet. Yes. Yeah. Medication tu hapa na pale, checkups kidogo kidogo. But I'm feeling good. Kuna vitu ambavyo ulikuwa unaweza una, una uwezi kuvifanya ama you, your body ah. is full. Is Mimi nafanya kila so. kitu. Uh. Na kula pia kila kitu. Wacha. Yes, appetite. Uh. Actually hiyo time nilikuwa mgonjwa appetite bado ilikuwa ngatu hapa. Ah, ndugu yangu. Na mwili ni huu. Mwili ni huu lakini appetite. Eh, ili kwa noma sana. Yeah. Nini hunyu pombe? You do you don't take alcohol? Yeah. I've never taken alcohol no by way. the way since birth. For yeah. real? I've never taken I, liquor. No, wait. Go ya tuonge hiyo. Ile familia yetu kubwa ilikuwa na hoteli, ilikuwa na nini? Haikuwa na bar. Iko na club. Ili, iko. Ah. By the way, iko mpaka saa hii. <laughs> iko. 
but I never did. I could go to the bar and restaurant. For in e December, e December. As is the cause. But e December ni kenda home. Actually nda wa record hizi vitu zote nionaeshe kwa YouTube. Mzioni ziko. I'm not talking out of the blues. Kwa nini uliamua not to take alcohol? Uh one uh in our family no one takes liquor. No way. Yes. No one takes liquor. That is why I never saw my father drink alcohol, not even once. Okay. And two because of my health condition since birth because I was born with this. Mm. So there's some alcohol quickly dehydrates and that is yeah. what triggers okay. sickle cell. Oh, Once okay. you're de- de- dehydrated. Oh. That's it. Does this mean now with sickle cell you have to be on medication all through? Since birth, yes, there are some kind of uh, uh. drugs that I have to One is folic acid. Uh. We have fellow warriors no, we call ourselves warriors. Mm. Yeah. Folic acid and paludrin. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have to take that throughout our life. Kuna kuanga na hizi, I don't know if ni nio zetu meets na misconceptions. Ile kwamba watu watu wako na sickle cell, they have a inaitwa time nini? Like they kuna kifika umri fulani, you know, like they lose their lives. Ushe so story. Especially when in high school, you know, kuna kuna high school kuna kuna some story, especially of the kids. Mm, walikuwa napitia. Hizo stories nimesikia mingi muende. I tell even from the doctors themselves. Yeah, there was a time, still growing up, I think, nikiwa primary pale. Mm. There was a time I was very, very sick. Really, and uh, I think in my entire life, that was one of the faces I also remember. I was very sick. So, tuka da hausi na mam. Uh, kuna na mam, hey, tuka ka hausi pale, I was very sick. Then the doctors were like, eh, hey, mam, hii, aita weze kama. Mm. Just go back home, mm. mungu aja taini yake. That is what the doctor told my mom. But my faith has been so strong since birth i think so because it's only god who can write your mm. destiny not any body not mm. anyone mm. yeah unasikia niliambiwa kwanza hawapitangi 18 years old nikafika 18 was like here we are yes you at hawapitangi 25 here we are mm. i'm 32 Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And going on so. Nini nakupa nguvu? Nini nakupa nguvu every day like, you know? Yeah. Eh. I think I'm just a happy man. Okay. Yes, and I find happiness in making people happy. Mm. Yes. I think also comedy plays played a very important role in my life as a person. Yes. Because that is where I also found I could actually entertain myself. Mm. Yeah. Apart from just kuchekesha watu, eh. I'm also happy when I'm in that particular mm. sport. Mm. It's a sweet sport. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So those are the things that kept me going, kept, kept me going because looking back nangalia I'm one of those kids ngekuwa so depressed. Mm. My self esteem ingekuwa chini kabisa, ingekuwa chini kabisa. Mm. But I found happiness in art all the way from primary. Because me from primary I was one of best actor manason oh you nilikuwa naitwa manason jo oh man oh majina yako kamili ni hiyo manason manason yes sawa hapo akukuleja hapo amezaliwa so primary uh. i was wale watu wa best actor manason jo ah. then i go to high school yeah high school nikabeba drama team on my back literally okay. so from from one it was just best actor manason manason so my life was around art oh, okay yeah and the kuchekesha watu kufurahisha watu gave purpose to me mm. yeah so at other means you can get to ah man this is what i love mm. and when people appreciate you your self esteem also goes up mm. yeah so i think is that is what saved me otherwise ningekuwa wale watu wenye self esteem yao iko sijui chini sijui hadi wapi 0% because me it, it, at this point hakuna kitu sijaiambiwa mm. akuku mekonda so mm. Eh, aku kwa unanga mwili mwingine. So, mm. wewe wewe mwenye uko na nyingine inakusaidia wapi? Kuna mimi mmoja, nikwambie hiyo mimi mmoja niliona. Eh. Niambie. Kuna mbazile ni suti zako, kumeachilia kifua. Eh, ati eh, niliona hiyo ati sijui. Let me try to eh, get eh, it. Eh, eh ati <laughs> Funga kifua ama sijui tuchukuchangie tena ama kitu kama hiyo zit si ndio is a bit when you would see that such things zilikuwa zina ku upset ama zilikuwa zinachukulia aje it doesn't happen mwende one thing mm. if you know yourself uh, kama unajitambua vizuri uh, ah 
nothing shakes me mm. nothing shakes me acha kukudenze sijui funga chat you see hiyo <laughs> ni ignorant kwanza uh, uh. because number one, baridi is not a trigger of sickle cell yeah. not even once mm. eh hey, there are so many other things na baridi ileti pneumonia watu wasome inaitwa pneumonia hata hawaiiti pneumonia hata pneumonia so people need to read people need to understand things so me hizo ni vitu hazijai ni affect hata dakika ngapi hata dakika moja sasa kwenye sector umerudi uko ndani sasa we are back Yeah. What, are, what, what are some of the things you are up to? Ah, uh, size it's December of course. Mm. Peak season for artists. Okay. Yeah, and the parties we are mm. still doing them. Mm. We have weddings coming you up. I am I'm seeing yes. Mm. So come on event slide pale kwa DM. Kuja tuunge, tuchape kazi. Yes. Mm. Mm. Okay, sitaki nikwache sana. Sitaki yes. nikwache sana. Mm-hmm. Nataka uje sana Sandra. Utakuja nani? Sandra. Eh, uh, after interview lakini wacha, si demo yako yule. Wacha watu watatu wakuje hivi. Alafu nikuje naye. Alafu nipige simu. Mm. Tukuje naye sasa. Nje naye. Nikuje na a baby girl. A baby girl. A babe. Mimi si leo jeu vile mbeba mgongoni. Eh. That's what I do not understand. Hiyo si kutaona. Nitaona live. Live. Mm. <laughs> ana kwa ana. <laughs> Thank you so much ya kukudenja. Nashukuru sana. Mimi like I'm very happy I'm uh-huh. to see you healthy. Yes. Yaani nilivyokuona pale nilikuona mm-hmm. kama nimeona mujiza. Ah. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. Mm. Uh, one thing also, one thing that I actually before I go, mm. before you let me go. Mm. I don't know, but one of the ways to actually cure this particular eh. disease is through bone marrow transplant. Okay. Yeah, and in Kenya, it is only one hospital that does it. Okay. That is Nairobi West Hospital mm. and uh, they did it the previous day for the pa- uh, for the first patient. Yeah, and it was a success. Okay. Yes. So when that bone marrow transplant happens what nini mwili itaisha hiyo sickle cell? Yes, sickle cell itaisha for good. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So uh for so many uh so many times I've always wanted to do that. I went to the hospital to talk to them. Yeah. They told me it's around 2 million. Yeah, so mm. bado tunatafuta pesa. Ukipata 2 million? To, if I get that 2 million, mm. I would go and get that. Okay. Yeah. I would go and get that. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, in case pia mtu anajisikia ku inquire or anything. Yeah, hit me up. Hit okay. Me up. Yeah. All right. Alfred I'd like to see you more healthier. Yeah. Of course you're healthier, but, but now kama you are able to get that transplant and get completely well. Yes. Si utakuwa mzuri zaidi. Sana. Eh. Sana sana. So that is what I'm working on. If uh, everything goes according to plan, okay. Or if Kenyans, some other Kenyans also could also come through, okay. I'd actually appreciate okay. a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. But so far, mm. so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Mimi na kutakia kila la Harry. You know, when you see somebody is very positive, kusu maisha, yeah. you can only wish them well. That's why it's very important for you, for somebody yeah. who want a positivity within themselves. Because yes. we, we will ride on that positivity for you. Yes. Yes. Shukran sana kukudenja. Na shukuru sana. Eh, wakupate pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Mm, it's mm. a kukudenja. Eh, iko na tick. Eh, we, have, uh, we are the few verified. <laughs> please, usijisumbue sana. Andika tu kukudenja. It's iko na tick kila mahali. Eh. Shukran sana kukudenja. Na shukuru. You know, kwa kuchukua muda wako and yes. being on the Queen's podcast. Of course, you can listen to this audio pale kwenye Spotify, kwenye Apple Podcast, kwenye Google Podcast and definitely on EMM online team. V how for kwenye YouTube of course thank you so much Tamari Tree Hotel and everybody else eh my producers excuse me corner producers my directors huko na team kubwa kabisa my makeup artist umeona umeona team no masala si mchezo si mchezo hapa hadi tunapikiwa inaitwa je sharubati maji ya sharubati tena haya yametengezwa katika njia muft naam ndio ah iko welo welo iko welo welo bila peke peke guda guda see you next episode Ha, 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 ha.